In fact, he's going to go off. Yeah, that's no surprise. Goodness me, that really is a, a very nasty blow. You can see the swelling there on the shin bone already. That's not good. Yeah, it is not good news for Mohamed Nabi. He's a, one of the experienced bowlers in his side. A bit expensive today. 41 runs he gave, only one wicket. I uh, hope the injury is not serious for his shin. That's too much speed. Delport. Well, we've seen uh, around the world one or two bowlers looking at uh, experimenting even with uh, bowling in face masks. But uh, that obviously wouldn't uh, help move as Ashraf in, uh, in that situation. Maybe you need to bowl in shin pads as well. That really was uh, hit extremely hard. There was no chance at all for the bowler to get his, uh, get his hands down. And so Ravi Bopara is going to be the sixth bowler used. He's going to complete the over. Well bowled, just a single from it, and uh, with two overs to go, it's 181 for three. Two overs left, 19 runs to get uh, up to 200 for Pactia. They got 17 runs in that last over. Five balls of which were bowled by uh, Mervis Ashraf and one by uh, Ravi Bopara. So Aftab Alam is going to bowl the penultimate over of the innings. Expensive so far and he's had a nightmare in the field, dropping three catches. Although one of those catches, you'd have to say Colin Munro was partly to blame. Not a good evening so far for Aftab Alam, but he has to bowl well in this over. What a good start for him. Dot delivery. He has to think every single delivery because this over is very important for the team and especially for him. He gave already 34 runs and just 3.1 over. He's just changing the field. This is good bowling. Wide Yorkers. That's two wide Yorkers that uh, Delport hasn't been able to uh, score off. But he has uh, scored off uh, quite a few other deliveries. Four fours and one six in his half century. His uh, first half century of this uh, Gulbahar Afghanistan Premier League powered by Fog. That's very well bowling from Aftab. Uh, he's pitching ball on the right area outside the of some Yorker deliveries. And Cameron Delport tried to give some room, but he cannot reach it. That's another good delivery from Aftab. Just one runs of his first three balls. Rahmanullah will be the striker. Okay, so Ahmed just having a little smile. And the reason he was having a little smile there was he could see himself on the big screen. That's true. He's always smiling whenever he sees himself on screen. He give a smile. I don't know. I have to ask him. There is some reason behind. Oh, oh. that's terrific. That's wonderful <laughs> improvisation. improvisation. That's fantastic from uh, Gurbaz. One of my favorite cricketer in a young generation from Afghanistan. He is showing his talent right now. Uh, what a good production from Afghanistan Cricket Board to show such a good talent like Rahmanullah Gurbaz. And he's showing his skills. It's look like a Shpagiza, maximum fog. If it's landed on the boundary rope on the full, or the, the boundary hatching there, if it's landed on the full, then that will be a six. That's one angle. Let's see if we've got another angle here to show to the third umpire. 
Oh yes, you can see quite clearly from that angle that it's pitched just a fraction in front of the boundary hatching. So uh, I reckon that's going to be signalled as a four. That's a boundary, fog maximum four from Rahmanullah. He have a good strike rate right now, five ball, 12 runs. Now he clubs the ball out towards deep mid wicket. Case Ahmed, like a whip it around to that ball, keeps the batsman down to two. But uh, Gurbaz <coughs> showing some real quality here. You said he was an opening batsman, Hamid, but he's got all the shots. Yes, he is opener batsman, as, uh, as I see, and as I mentioned before, in under-19. He all the time open as a uh, bat as an opener, and he got plenty of runs in domestic, under-19 World Cup, in Asia Cup, in emergence. And right now, if he's batting number one or number two, he's doing his job. 188 for three after 19 overs. over to go. Actually will fancy their chances now of getting to 200. Especially with uh, Ramanullah Gurbaz going very nicely. Really important contribution from him. Gulbuddin Naib is going to bowl the last over of the innings from the Sharjah club end. So just one delivery for Ravi Bopara when he came on to finish that over from Mervez Ashraf. Second leading wicket taker in this tournament, Gulbadi Naib. He got six wickets already. A bit expensive tonight, three overs, 31 runs. Final over for his spell and final over for the innings. Let's see what he got. It's gone straight up in the air, but it might land safe. No, it doesn't no. because uh, Bopara comes in and grabs it. That's a really good catch from Ravi Bopara. He had to make a lot of ground in off the boundary. And so uh, Gurbaz's little cameo comes to an end. And that's the fourth wicket down for uh, Paktia. Such a good athlete, Ravi Bopara. Cover a lot of ground. And he can manage to put himself in, crease the ball underneath it. And he grabbed it, grabbed it easy. Another wicket for Gulbadin. Rahmanullah Gurbaz, 15 on his eight deliveries. A small cameo. 189 for four. Batsman crossed while that ball was in the air. And uh, <laughs> Gulbadin Nabe in the end, scrambling to uh, try and prevent the single with Cameron Delport on strike. The new batsman is Shahid Afridi at the non striker's end. Smiles all round. That's a good stretch for Gulbadin. He just grabbed the ball, and it's a good stop also. Didn't give any runs. Oh, a little pick up from Delport, and he's picked it up all the way into the stands. You cannot ball to Dilport here, especially he's well set right now. 63 of 46 deliveries. Six number 120. Wow, match number seven only. It's still one innings left. Low full toss and it gets the treatment. That's the fifth six for Delport in this innings. Just one four for him. So he's been dealing in maximums. 
Very powerful, very strong. He need to connect the ball only. Another full toss. One runs and he's asking for a no ball. It's not the first time we've seen uh, Gulbadin just uh, bowl very full indeed. One of the previous ones he bowled uh, wasn't called. That one again was perilously close, but uh, once more, it's not been uh, called by the uh, umpires. Oh, it's, I think it's look all right. This is the first tour I'm seeing from Gulbadin. Haven't got any change of pace so far. So he got two deliveries left. Oh, that's too far away, Gulbadin. A wide ball and a no ball. It was an attempted cutter from Gulbadin, which slipped out of his hand. Signalled as uh, a no ball for being above waist height. And so uh, as a result of that, that'll be a free hit. Boom Boom Shahid Afridi got two deliveries and this is an... It's a, it's a good comeback. It's only one runs. Yeah, it wasn't for the uh, front foot, that no ball. It was for the fact that the ball was over waist height. But uh, that's a good recovery, as uh, Hamid said, from uh, Gulbadin. One ball to go in the innings. Two runs to get to uh, get to uh, 200. Yes, as Charu Sharma mentioned before, 200 runs wicket again and almost reached 198. Last ball of the innings, Cameron Delport and Gulbadin will be the bowler. So he's taking his time. He will be looking for a boundary maximum for four or six runs. Nazim Jad domestic cricket in charge well that's a pretty good way to end an innings isn't it stand and deliver what a shot that's a good way to finish the innings with a beautiful six over his umpire head all the way for six runs 15 runs off that last over and packed here get to 200 204 for four they finish with and that's Cameron Delport's sixth six he finishes 17 on out from 48 balls what a clean strike this was very clean strike as the way he liked his batting strength stand and deliver he repeat the same innings i remember back home in kabul last year he got a hit some couple of sixes and right now he hit it again gulbadin is disappointed and he can just watch didn't even need to uh, look to see where that ball had gone, did he? He knew it was uh, into the stands. Really good finish to the innings for uh, Paktia. And in the last five overs, they got 60 runs. That's remarkable. Last five overs, 60 runs. Maybe this is the chan changing uh, for a bulk team to get the runs. But they have a good batting side and they have capable to chase the runs. They got two wins already and they will be thinking how to chase this score, like 204 runs, like 10 runs per over. It's a consistent looking scorecard that, isn't it? Uh, with uh, all the top four getting past 20. Delport the standout with 70, a slow start from him, but uh, he picked up later on. Here's the bowling figures, six bowlers used in total, including Ravi Bopara, who bowled just that single delivery when Mervez Ashraf had to go off after a blow to his shin. Let's go down uh, now and see who uh, Ajay Mera has got with him. Thanks a lot, uh, Aftar. First of all, tough day for you, you know, nothing going well, but the last one was very impressive. Yeah, this is a cricket part of game. I'm trying my best, uh, inshallah, the target is um, easy to chase a ball. Some drop catches, some uh, communication problem in the field. What, what was happening? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is this is my first time. I don't know how drop the catch. <laughs> yeah, but uh, we will try to chase, inshallah. But this is cricket. You know, cricket being a great leveler. At times, you take some fantastic catches. But mention was the surface. Looks to be a very good one for batting, isn't it? Yeah, very, uh, the wicket is very good for the batting. Uh, uh, inshallah, we have a lot of uh, 11 batsmen in the team. Uh, the, the boss, uh, Chris Gill, inshallah, and uh, Colin Munro, uh, Tendishkati, Bupara, Muhammad Nabi. We have a lot of betting, inshallah, chaseable. 
and the big thing is all of them are in form. Of course, Chris Gill uh, joining the ranks as far as batting is concerned. But the rest of the batsmen have been in form for you. That's a big plus for you. Yes, uh, the Chris Gill also coming in in, in form batsmen. And uh, Dishkati, Kolomonro, Usman Ghani. We have a good batting lineup. All the best of Thap and best wishes for the future as well. Thank you. Thank you. It's back to the comms out there. Thanks, Ajay, and thanks to Aftab Alam fronting up after uh, a mixed time for him in the field and with the ball. But uh, there's uh, the partnerships and, uh, well, some very good partnerships indeed. Nothing enormous, but uh, always just uh, ticking along nicely. One half century stand, the opening stand between Mohamed Shazad and uh, Issa Nuller. In fact, Haktia got 60 from their first six overs, the power play, and that's the second best power play score in the tournament uh, so far. So, pretty good in innings that from uh, Pak Tia. 204 for four, which means bulk legends need 205 for victory to retain their 100% record in the tournament so far. They played 2-1-2. Can they make it play 3-1-3? Well, we'll find out uh, shortly. We'll be back after a little bit of a break, so uh, please rejoin us when play resumes. Let's have a look at some highlights then of the Pactia innings. The Pactia Panthers put into bat by the Bulk Legends in match seven of this Gulbahar Afghanistan Premier League, powered by Fogg. Some remarkable shots early on by Mohamed Shazad. 42 he made in 21 balls. And he was joined by Issa Nullah, who made 47 from 28. Outrageous sixes and some powerful pulls. That's incredible, that shot, isn't it? 
And then uh, Mohamed Chazel was out. Fox by Gulbadin Naib. That slower ball. That was 59 for one. And uh, Gulbadin, the body Naib, celebrates in uh, characteristic fashion. But still, the ball was blazed to all parts. There were some remarkable fielding mishaps for uh, Bolk. Not least for poor old uh, Aftab Alam, who managed to drop three catches in uh, one over. This is the third of them now. And to, to add insult to injury, that one went for six. It's Anullah with that uh, six down the ground. And in the end, he perished, caught by Ravi Bopara off Mervez Ashraf, who uh, later on uh, had to leave the field after taking a very nasty blow on his left shin. Cameron Delport. And uh, Sami Shinwari blazed away for the third wicket before uh, Shinwari was run out. A bit of a suicide run, really. The ball going to uh, Mohamed Nabi's right hand. In came uh, Ramanullah Gurbaz for his first uh, contribution in the uh, Gulbaha Afghanistan Premier League. And uh, he made uh, a very quick fire 15 including that shot, which really was uh, straight out of, uh, well, no textbook that I've ever seen. And uh, that was a good finish from uh, Cameron Delport. 79 out from 48 balls, 1-4 and 6 sixes. And uh, how about this, Alistair Campbell, alongside me? Out of that total of 204 for four, nine fours and 18 sixes. Remarkable. Sign of the times. It is a, a small Ishville. It's not minute by any stretch of the imagination. And that's an uh, astonishing statistic. This goes to show these days they're not afraid of the boundary. They've got big bats and they're going to take it on. Also an indication of how good this wicket is. Is that if you slightly err as a bowler, the margin of error is so slim. And uh, if you allow the batsman any hint of being able to get underneath it and hit for the rafters, they're going to take you on. They got over 200, 204 for four. So uh, we've seen in these evening games, that's around about par, you'd have to say. They'll back themselves big time, the bulk legends, but they're going to have to go some. Eye on 10 to the over required. And we're in for some fireworks here, I reckon. The bulk legends have plenty of big hitters in their lineup. None better. None more revered than the universe boss making his debut in the competition this evening. And I'm sure we're going to uh, see what he's got on offer so far as taking on this boundary here in Sharjah. Paktia Panthers, however, have got some uh, decent bowlers amongst them. And they're getting together now just to go about how they're going to go in these first six overs, I reckon, initially, because they need to make sure they try and contain as much as possible. What they don't want is to allow this bloke to get off to a flyer, because if he does that, as we saw the other night with uh, Hasratula, the game can be over very quickly. There we go, they're talking about uh, the slower ball, and I think it's uh, one of those things with Chris Gale. Give him any pace, and he's devastating. And just the older you get, the harder it is to, to pick changes in pace. And they're talking about not floaty slower balls, but really getting it into the middle of the pitch and bowling those slower ball bounces, really getting it to grip. And I think that's uh, what Cameron Delport and Shida Freedy were illustrating there to the bowlers. Really put an effort into those uh, slow balls, the change of pace, get it to grip. But he's uh, seen all the tricks. Chris Gale, they've uh, devised every plan under the sun to try and get him out. And invariably, as his career has progressed, he's had the upper hand in his twilight years now. But still coming into this game on the back of some very good form. His last list day game playing for Jamaica. He got a century, so he comes here having spent... A good amount of time out in the middle. Now, just trying to get the field right. There's plenty of people giving uh, opinion out there to Mohamed Shazad as to exactly where they need to be for Chris Gale. First of all, they've got to ascertain if he's going to be on strike. And secondly, they've got to make sure that uh, they've got their field decided and the bowler has a clear plan. 347th game for Chris Gale. He's uh, been around, and I'll tell you what, he has entertained thoroughly throughout his career. This short format of the game suits him down to the ground and, well, he's uh, belittled many stadia in the world. No boundary too big for this fella. Yes, he's on the verge of 12,000 2020 runs. No other players even reached 10,000. That's how far he's ahead of things. Usman Ghani at the other end. It's going to be an education for him to be batting with uh, Chris Gale. You can be sure of that. 
This is actually Chris Gale's 24th side that he's played 2020 cricket for, if you can believe that. And he's going to be tested first up because he's going to be facing, uh, or he's going to uh, come up against, Suru Udana, who bowled absolutely beautifully in the last match. Very, very impressive indeed. In fact, uh, I think in Paktia's uh, last match, their victory, he was probably my man of the match. Yeah, tremendous Yorker, tremendous change of pace. Two attributes you need greatly in this form of the game. This is going to be an intriguing battle. Here we go then, the universe boss. Interesting, Udana operating from the Sharjah club end to start with and uh, begins with a wide. He bowled from the pavilion end in that previous uh, match that he played, his only match in the tournament up to this point. Four overs, two for 28 against Nangaha. Colin Munro, because of uh, the appearance of Chris Gale, slips down the order. 46 in 24 balls opening in the last match. He's uh, going to be coming in at number three this time. Nicely nudged away. It would just be the single. <laughs> when he was a little more sprightly, he might have galloped back for two, but on this occasion, just happy to jog down the other end, Chris Gale. But he's off the mark in the Gulbahar Afghanistan Premier League. Just ran it off the face of the bat. Good work in the outfield. And that's good commitment. They're going to need to be uh, on the money. The Paktia Panthers, bulk legends, well, they let a few opportunities go. And if they're going to uh, defend this, the Panthers, you'll have to think that they're going to have to be spot on, not only with the bowling, but in the field as well. Take all the opportunities. Yes, down at third man. That was a good effort from Zia Rahman Sharifi. With this Mungani on strike, there's a slip coming in for Udana. Mungani off the mark straight away. Pretty sedate start. Happy to just get uh, the feel of things out there. Both batsmen and why not? Got to give yourself a chance. Chris Gale's become accustomed to playing in this fashion throughout uh, his career. Just gives it. He gives himself a chance to have a look. See, he's not too uh, urgent early on. Not playing too many shots, and then when he feels that he's got the pace of things, when he's got the feel of things, he cuts loose. 21 centuries in 2020 cricket. He's also hit the most fours in this form of the game, the most sixes in this form of the game. He's got the highest score in this form of the game, which was uh, amazing, 175 not out in 66 balls for Royal Challengers Bangalore against Pune in 2013. He really has become Mr. 2020. Remember, of course, he scored the first ever 100 in the ICC World 2020 in 2007 in South Africa. And all of that with a strike rate of a shade under 150. <laughs> I suppose universe boss is fair enough then. Yes, well, it's him and then daylight before we get to uh, the next leading player in this form of the game with the bat. He really has been like a colossus in 2020 cricket in the twilight of his career now. Slower ball. The idea was right, but the execution wasn't. Who would have thought... You would have Chris Gale playing in the Afghanistan Premier League a couple of years ago. It's so good to have him uh, here and playing in uh, this league and so good to have an Afghanistan Premier League. Well, there was no arrogance from him when I spoke to him before play in the sense that he said, well, my presence, if I can get some runs, really, really will raise the profile of this league. And that, that's what, what it needs, of course, in its inaugural edition. Well, that's uh, brutal. Short of a length, and it's bludgeoned down the ground by Usman Ghani for the first boundary. The first uh, of maximum four. Salureza. That's uh, the first four of the game. It was a length ball. He didn't care how he looked. Maybe trying to hit it through mid-wicket. Got to the ball a little early. The back came down, and, well, 
just flat battered it down the ground for four. Still a ball remaining, nine off the over. That's been uh, really the first shot in anger. Nine without loss. doesn't make for good reading if you're a Pactia Panthers fan. Look at the depth of batting there that the Bolt legends have. We've got uh, Ikram Ali Keel, the keeper coming in at number eight, who is a very, very capable batsman indeed, with uh, Aftabalam, Mervez Ashraf and Kais Ahmed then bringing up the rear. Gulbadi Nabe at seven, Mohamed Nabi at six. Tons of batting to uh, get through for this uh, Pactia bowling attack. Zeraman Sharifi, we saw him at third man in that uh, previous over. And now we're going to see him with uh, ball in hand. He's just got to put it out of his head who he's bowling to. <laughs> he's got to try and focus on what they would have talked about, the disciplines and uh, the strategy against this man. Oh, that's well bowled. That's really well bowled. Just uh, caught the inside... Uh, of the uh, left thigh, I rather fancy. It was well taken by uh, Mohamed Shazad, but that's a lively start, isn't it? Yeah, great start. Just for a while, I thought it might have been the willow. But uh, it's done it for pace. No real uh, foot movement from Chris Gale, but that's how he plays. He's not a great mover of his feet. On that occasion, just hurried a wee bit. Mohamed Hassan made the point in uh, the previous innings about the fact that uh, there are several frontline fast bowlers for Afghanistan who are injured at the moment. This is a great opportunity to uh, showcase your skills. That's what uh, Zeraman Sharifi can do. Coach is here, of course, Phil Simmons. Yeah, he'll be scoping things with his eagle eye. Just seeing that uh, they have uh, got the best team available for selection. Just seeing if there's uh, anybody that's uh, missed his attentive eye. Great showpiece this for uh, all the young Afghan players to showcase their talent. Playing against uh, some of the best pros on the circuit, on the T20 franchise circuit. We just saw his previous delivery, Chris Gale, clearing the front leg and just looking for the first time to maybe show some aggression. That's his favourite way of playing. Doesn't uh, much like getting in line and play with a high elbow. He's more inclined to clear that front leg and then he opens up the whole ground. So he'll hit you from over third man to square leg. And uh, when he does hit it, stand by. And again, clearing that front leg, but uh, good full length. Sharifi is, uh, oh, after that first delivery, which hurried Gale, he's uh, gone full, very full, almost Yorker length, in fact. Yeah, this is his uh, favourite method, just clearing that front leg, but you're right, maybe that's uh, one of the methods they've talked about, not bowling length to Chris Gale. Trying to keep it as full as possible, not allowing him to get any elevation under the ball. Oh, what a lovely pickup. Oh, that's delightful. It really is from Usman Ghani. Spagiza. Lovely piece of timing. Didn't try and hit it too hard. He knew there was acres of real estate out on the leg side. And, uh, well, he got it right out the middle of the bat and went away for the first by geezer of the game 
Length ball, that's the key. And uh, just evidence of how good a player this is, but also how good a pitch this is to bat on. And after uh, a good over for four deliveries, suddenly you go for six, and now you're defending an over that's gone for nine. Make that 13. Through the offside for four. And all of a sudden, two overs have gone. And Bolk have got some momentum. 22 without loss. Garney has led the way to the Bulk Legends so far. Chris Gale, very much a watching brief at the other end. Chris Garney, two fours and a six already. Second over then for Rudana. He's going to be bowling to Chris Gale. There's the slower ball, but he's picked it. And he's hit it over extra cover for Maximum. He's on his way, Chris Gale. He didn't try and hit this too hard. All oh, timing in the world. Width on offer, and he's picked the slower ball. Tremendous. That's what Gale does best. Just sat deep in his crease. Deliberately got under the ball. Helped it on its way. A look of satisfaction on his face as it sailed into the stands. And he follows it up off his toes. That's on the University Road. Look out! The Universe boss is in town. Spike Giza. It's a fog maximum and it's gone a long, long way. As you mentioned, Brian Murgatroyd, the traffic is at a halt here in Sharjah. They better watch out because he hasn't finished yet. Lovely timing again right out the middle of the bat. And that's gone a long, long way. Doesn't even bounce on the roof. Clears the roof and onto the road. Charu Sharma, uh, who's uh, at the other end of the commentary box, said he could see that one bouncing on the road. Thankfully, it missed all the cars, and it's and it's gone. Uh, it's gone into one of the shops. There's a bank over there. Well, Chris Gale certainly can take it to the bank. No question about that. Now then, plenty to think about for Mohammed Shazad. Suddenly, the expression tells it all. Under the pump, what does the bowler do? What field can you set? You can't have fielders on the roof. You've got to just be spot on. And so far as when you want to bowl to this bloke, you've got to get it up in the block hole. You've got to be full and straight, I reckon. And if you're going to uh, test him, a quick bouncer has always unsettled him in the past. Maybe that's where you need to go as well. Yeah, there we go. Goes full. <laughs> How about that? Just jams that bat on it, and it races away for another boundary. All three pound, five ounces of... Willow in Chris Gale's hand and all it was was a mere defensive shot just digging it out and still manages to get it away to the boundary for four he's blocked it for four incredible the power that he has the timing that he has as soon as he beats the field he'll get full value swing and a miss no wonder Nabby's laughing all of a sudden, having Chris Gale in your side uh, just adds a completely new dimension. And remember, they were winning uh, They were winning very nicely before uh, Gale arrived too. Played 2-1-2 before this. Now this is uh, the over thus far. That one just leaning back, nudging it over extra cover, flicking this one off his legs. That went to country mile. And that one, well, just jamming down on a reasonably good delivery. And it beat the man at Madon. Oh, he's got him! He's got the last laugh! Udana, you beauty! They needed that for the Bhaktiya Panthers. Chris Gale was looking ominous out there. He's got one spot on and rattles the timber. Not everybody in the house is happy with that. But I tell you what, if you're a Panthers supporter, you're breathing a sigh of relief. Gale gone for a quick fire 20. And what a fantastic piece of bowling. Real character this from Udana. 
He'd gone the distance earlier in the over. We'd seen his Yorker in full effect in the previous match that he'd played. And he's uh, shown it again here. And doesn't he love that? And why shouldn't he? Now, Gale's just been told to hang about because they're just going to check the front foot, no ball. Don't tell me. Don't tell me. There's a twist to this tail. Well, the superb delivery. Is it a legal one? Easily. Easily. The umpires just wanting to make doubly sure when Chris Gale's involved. But it's half and half, and Chris Gale, yeah, he's on his way now. Gone for 20, just off 10 deliveries, 38 for one. Bulk Legends opener for the first two matches of this Gulbahar Afghanistan Premier League, powered by Falk. Colin Munro coming in now at number three. He slipped down the order because of the presence of Chris Gale, and this is why he's here. Yeah, he's persisted with the full length, and on this occasion through the defences. Chris Gale again trying to just dig one out and jab it down the ground, beaten for pace under the bat, and <laughs> he knows he's got a big scalp. Terrific piece of bowling. Terrific execution under pressure. He's got away with that one with fine leg up in the circle. End of the over. Three gone. 38 for one. Pacti Riff struck then with Bulk Legends chasing 205 for victory and uh, Isuru Idana has uh, made the breakthrough <laughs> getting rid of Chris Gale out for 20 and uh, fourth over about to begin Yamir Lambertzai, medium fast. He's, uh, well, a pretty good first over, you'd have to say, against uh, Chris Gale. Now, he's got the opportunity uh, with him back in the pavilion. Lovely pickup from Usman Ghani, but there's a man out there. What a catch that is. I think that's Sikanda Raza out there, isn't it? That's a heck of a catch. It really is. It's not Raza. It looks like him. It is a great catch. I just said that the Panthers would have to be on the money in their fielding efforts, take every opportunity. And Usman Ghani, he's flicked one. I think he thought he had uh, done it again, hit it over the boundary. But what a catch this is. It's a nuller, it was. Tremendous run to his left-hand side. I thought for all money, it was going for six at first. It was picked up so beautifully. A wicket from uh, Ahmed Zara with the first ball that he's bowled here. And it's 38 for two. How this thing can turn round oh so quickly.
Ryan Tendiscata, hero of uh, Bulk Legends, first win of the tournament. In at number four. Two wickets in the space of three balls. And Tendiscata off the mark straight away. But uh, Ahmed Zai, who uh, played in the test match against India in Bengaluru in June, striking with his first delivery, but I have to say it owes a great deal to a fantastic piece of fielding by Isanulla. Yeah, he kept his eyes on it. Had to make uh, seven or eight yards to his left-hand side, putting the dive at the end just to be sure. Well, that's a big wicket. It really is. And from uh, going along swimmingly, suddenly, only two down and uh, under a bit of pressure now. Ryan Tindescarter played so well the other night, but he's got his work cut out here with uh, Munro. They need to try and take advantage of these power play overs, but also just to make sure they don't lose another wicket. We talked about their depth in batting. These two at the crease still. Nabi is waiting in the wings. Bopara waiting in the wings. Gulbadin Naib. But you want to make sure that uh, you're trying to get this job done as uh, early as possible. You don't want to leave yourself too much to do at the end. Although, having said that, on this particular surface, and if the dew comes down, chasing 13, 14, 15 and over in the last few overs is uh, not too much of an effort. That's uh, pulled away. Oh, I tell you what, that's great reactions. He had overrun it. It spun a little bit. And he was able to make the requisite adjustment, stick out a mitt and make the save. Ramanullah Gurbaz out there. Have a look at this. He's gone one way, the ball's gone the other. And, uh, well, if he was a goalkeeper, that's a tremendous save. He was running the right way. That's the way it would spin, being hit behind square on the leg side. And just occasionally the ball straightens up and goes the other way. And he was able to adjust. So how did Bolt go about things here? Now, uh, Alistair, they can't afford to get too far behind the uh, the asking rate, chasing uh, in excess of 10 runs and over. But uh, as you said, they can't afford to uh, lose really any more wickets inside the power play. Yeah, I think uh, they need to make sure that they're scoring off every delivery. So if they're not finding the boundary, that they're rotating the strike, and they've done that well thus far. But uh, they're still going to make sure that the target of getting around about 10 to the over, so 55, 60 off this first six overs is achieved as well. Monroe's gone downtown, over long on and all the way for six. End of four overs. And, uh, goal 47 for two. Colin Munro in the previous match that Bolt played got 46 in 24 balls and he did it with shots like this yeah, I don't think that's out the middle of the bat just goes to show the power of this bloke and when uh, you do get uh, somewhere near the middle it's still going to go a long long way change of ends for Sharifi now operating from the Sharjah club end so Mohamed Shazad just uh, shuffling his pack inside this power play. He went for 13 in that first over of his Sharifi. So getting an opportunity here to bowl his second one. Still in the power play, so still only with two men out in the boundary. Still very difficult as a bowler on this particular surface here. Well, it's up in the air and in the gap. Not in control, Ryan Tenderscarter. And luckily, he's managed to find the gap between mid off and extra cover and will get a brace. Two wickets have gone down so far. First of all, Chris Gale, who hit a six and a four off Odana, but Odana got the last laugh by uh, producing that Yorker. 
And then a wonderful catch by Issa Nulla out at deep square leg. Celebrated uh, with Sikander Raza. And that was uh, Yamin Ahmedzai's wicket. And the first ball that he bowled. Out! Isuru takes the catch. Sharifi takes the wicket. And Bulk, under a little bit of pressure here, lose their third. He got away with one the previous delivery, Ryan Tendiscotta wasn't in control and this time he's hit it straight to Midoff. Midoff up in the circle, trying to take advantage of the power play overs, nowhere near the middle of the bat. I think the bat slips in his hand as well, plays it in an inside out fashion. And Udana, he's not going to miss those. And the Paktia Panthers, they're on fire here, they get their third wicket. And it's the big wicket of Ryan Tendiscotta, gone for five, 49 for three now. most experienced players in the 2020 world, Ravi Bopara, one of only 22 players in the world to have topped 6,000 runs in this form of the game. In at number five, and Bulk's unbeaten run in the tournament so far, and a serious threat. The third wicket going down inside the power play, Ryan Tendiscata. And Sharifi striking. Much hyped bulk legends batting lineup being tested here. This was the last week at Ryan Tendiscata. Weird shot they're trying to uh, probably at one stage hit it through mid on and just plays inside out and hits it straight to the man at mid off. Udana can't keep out of the action. The important wicket of Chris Gale and now taking the catch that gets rid of Ryan Tendiscata. Sharifi's got away with one there. I thought that was a wide. The umpire uh, Bismillah Jan Shinwari disagreeing. Yeah, there's a guideline there. There it is. And uh, well, it's inside it. So he's got it spot on. Ravi Bapara just not moving the feet. That's uh, the problem there. An opportunity with width on offer on that occasion to free the arms, but not able to take full toll. Oh, what a lovely on-drive from Bupara. A great way to get off the mark. It brings up the half-century for Bolt. Five overs gone. 53 for three. Great start here for the bulk legends. Uh, they've lost some important wickets, especially the wicket of Chris Gale. Uh, this card here as well, uh, out pretty early for four, so 53 for three. But this pair, I think a lot will depend on their Bopara experience. Munro, uh, new to the crease, uh, MSI, the first over was expensive, economy of nine. What they have to do is just keep the pressure going. Last over of the power play. Let's go down to Hamid and see who he's got. Another fresh blood, another new product from Afghanistan domestic cricket, a rising star, Kais Ahmad. He played under 19, under 19 World Cup, and recently he played Asia Cup. So let's talk about and ask him what he got from his uh, upcoming matches. Kais Manana, Che Delta Ragli, Daga Yotsu Pukhtani Danalarama, Daga. Afghanistan Premier League is the first time in the Premier League. I am a member of 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 the Premier League. I 
CPL recently the Okrolo or Pasiri Shaka Pokrolo, Dari Zephark or the Dezephark, Sanga Matlap to Pirpaki Kay, Sell is the Kridi. CPL Kaho, Dersamas Dakral, such a Maba Bolling Kao, Mata Patanala Gaja, the Bersman comes in a Kamzore, the Chirta Short Way, no Ara. English cricket run. Yeah, I'm dashing for Lord Darren Sami. They was a poor ball. I'm just a batsman. That that Rajiv, just a bowling ball. That's it. Just a batsman. Rajiv, just a bowling. That's it. Condition, he condition. Not a big bowling. That's it. Dear, yo, after any pochta na, dear, mohima. Hamesha chhi screen tagore da khanda wale ke da smile zaka pass among darbane khabar ekurle. Chhodi the reasons share. What is share da? Ga mata Facebook ke khalgo mua leka na. Chheta. پریشر دربان رازی تا خانده است. اگه چیزها سکرین تاوگر رو ماتاس خانده رازی است. زن را دخکارش خانده رازی. اوکی دیر از یاد من نه. او دغدغن میش سپوزیشن دفع کرد که وی چی رنز بچیس کی؟ آه انشالله ویکت کی دمرا چی نشته دنو بیتینگ ویکت دا. انشالله چی چیز باشی. اوکی گود لک من نه تاس نجس. A small talk with him and I ask him what what's the reason behind your smile? He says many people complain that why you are smiling because of pressure. He says no it's not because of pressure, because I'm enjoying my cricket. And he is looking forward to win the game against Paktia. So back to commentary box. Thanks a lot, Ahmed. Yes, uh, that was very well said. Uh, enjoying cricket, that's the passion you gotta have as a cricketer. And the young lad has got a lot of talent as well. Uh, and with me in the com box, once again is Charu. Charu, welcome. But what a start here for the Panthers. Oh, no, a terrific feeling here. But yes, uh, for sure. Uh, I mean, while Chris Gale was going strong and uh, Usman Ghani as well, you felt that uh, they'd gotten away to a great start. And uh, that's just the right way to chase a 200 plus total. But losing those two wickets and then one more has really, uh, in a sense, pegged that back. Ryan Dishkata, we know, is pretty destructive. Lots of experience. So. It's this pair for me. I don't know uh, the true worth and value of uh, one of the other young Afghans coming in. But if this pair can roll it along for another 100 runs, then they have a really good opportunity. Otherwise, I'm afraid their winning run may come to an end. And you can see just how much this means to Pakhtia. They're doing really well in the field, unlike uh, their opponents. We'll get back to that. Six overs gone, power play over, 56 for three. The important factor there is uh, three wickets down for Buck Legends. Uh, Buck Panthers just lost one. They had a decent start, uh, 60 for one at that stage after six overs. The power play gone and straight away comes in uh, Shahid Afridi. The experienced campaigner has been a bit rusty so far in the tournament, Shahid Afridi. But he's a match winner. A lot of, lot of experience behind him coming on from the Sharjah club end. Well, I've got to say that Paktia have uh, held their nerve while Chris Gale was going really strong at Udana. He came back with a superb delivery to get rid of Gale. That meant a lot. Then, of course, uh, the catch in the outfield by Isanullah was fabulous. And that really lifts uh, the morale of the side, Charu. You mentioned about that catch. Absolutely stunning catch. Never easy. Had to run some distance. Oh, warning the second as well. Everything <laughs> happening there. Yeah, and then, of course, uh, Dishkate. Uh, very soft dismissal. That was very disappointing. I suppose you could argue that uh, Gail got off to a great delivery. Uh, Isanullah took a superb catch, but Dishkata really got tricked by a slower one and popped it up to mid off. So that was very disappointing from the bulk perspective. These two, of course, can still do it. Bopara, huge experience. Brian was talking about a 6,000 plus runs of a, shit one, uh, a little while ago. That will help. And of course, he's gotten a good knock here. And of course, Monroe has got a 40 odd and very quick time. So these two can still turn it around. Yeah, over 300 matches uh, at this level, T20 level. So that means uh, the kind of exposure, experience he's got. And started off in great fashion as well. Bupara with a stunning uh, straight drive. Required run rate just hovering around 11. Mohamed Nabi still to come. I wonder what he's thinking. He can also hit the ball a long way. But the other advantage of the pair at the crease is that they run their. Uh, singles particularly they runs very quickly and can convert uh, many into doubles as well not this time 
But that always helps because they, to my mind, will never really be as pressured as other batsmen tend to be when they're looking for the big ones all the time. These two know they can, uh, well, you can't make the score in singles, but they can run and keep the, the pressure away by just getting the scoreboard ticking over all the time. Gail, a little pensive. Yeah, I would be disappointed, Chris Gale, because he got a start, was looking good, in good touch as well. A big six, then four, and then uh, getting that wicket, Udana. It was a special wicket for him, a wicket he'll always cherish, remember. Now, there we are, that's what I was talking about. These guys really will go in uh, and give a dot ball away. And uh, so, Chris Gale. Well, not a fabulous debut, but his big hitting was certainly on view. This is how he played outside the line to a really full delivery from Isuru Udana. And I did think that Udana's uh, bowling in the previous match as well was the key to having uh, Pakhtia winning their first match because their bowling has generally been a little weak. Even the first match, they got 218 and uh, couldn't defend it. But uh, Udana made a big difference. You're right, because he didn't play the first game and he played the second one. That's going to race away. Beating the short third man field up, going to be a four. Not too happy there, Afridi. 64 for three. Seven of us gone, 64 for three. At this stage, uh, last ball previous over was nicely played. We were just waiting for that one. Playing it very late. Uh, Colin Munro, speeding the field, uh, was diving, but in vain. The captain and uh, Shahid Afridi not very happy with that effort. Well, it was a bit like Shahid's effort. Could have been. <laughs> he just sort of fell over, keeled over as we were to the side. Sharafuddin Ashraf. <laughs> Bowled really well in the second game, Ashraf. He's a handy customer, bowls a wicket to wicket, couple of runs there. Nicely played along the carpet by Ravipwara. And this is the thing, you know, you don't have to take too many chances as uh, Indus Kade got out. He was uh, going after the bowling, trying to play those off his shots. There's good stuff on the field as well. Giving it all. Yeah, again, not a very effective or efficient slide. Got his knee stuck into the ground. Hope he's all right. Right on target, Sharaf, we've got to say. Mohamed Shahzad would be banking on his spinners. Uh, free the Sharaf to uh, do the job in the, these middle overs. Always crucial. One other option they have is Kandar Raza. Decent all spinner. Got a lot of experience behind him. Mohamed Shahzad knows that he's uh, on to a potential win here, got, having gotten rid of the top three. Just needs to get some fine tuning done in the field. Oh, poor, poor. Short fine. But Udana once again does very well to come running from deep square. I think Mohamed Shahzad won't mind these singles because uh, what he is awarding is those boundaries. You know, if the boundaries don't come, the pressure will be increasing, the required run rate will be creeping up. That's what he's looking for. Won't mind those singles coming. Uh, that could be a wide. Yeah, you know, it's a double-edged sword. I mean, singles also tend to irritate a lot. Yes, they may not be winning shots, but they keep sort of, uh, you know, because there's a right and left combination, you need to keep changing the field and the bowler can get it wrong too. But at least what he's doing is he's bowling to the field. According to the field, that's important. He's uh, got the right field set. Mohamed Shahzad, very experienced. Mohamed Nabi, uh, still to come. Decent bat, good all-rounder. Yeah, but even these two at the crease uh, have a lot of faith in their uh, abilities. They may be a little slower to start, but uh, they trust their own abilities. And, and I say that because of the, the whole singles thing. I mean, they never waste an opportunity to take a single, keep it ticking along, and wait for the loose ball, hit it big. Apesh, one bounce to the fielder at long on. 
Also, the fact that uh, Charu, they lost three wickets and especially uh, three wickets end up quick succession. So, uh, the thing is, they have to rebuild the innings. The thinking would be not over, lose further wickets from here on, not yeah. until the 12th or 13th over. That can dampen your big hitting ability for a bit. So, because you don't want to pop it up in the air and get out as well. Dot delivery. Decent over. Eight overs gone, 71 for three. So, the target 2 and 5, 71 for 3 after 8 overs. Well, you can also create your own uh, fantasy side, test your skills up as an individual and win big real uh, cash by logging on to myteam11.com. In case you haven't uh, logged on yet, then remember to try and perhaps include Chris Gale. I would. Another man I will include, uh, Charu, is uh, Hazratullah Zazai. What are innings yesterday? Absolutely phenomenal. Fabulous. Best on show so far. 124 of the finest. Brutal stuff. But, uh, you know, for me, uh, my favourite may remain Muhammad Shahzad. Unfortunately, just short of his 50 today. Otherwise, it would have been three consecutive 50s. You, move, you see him, really you enjoy his batting, his skills. You know, the way he goes about in his own method. He's got his own flair about batting, not bother about the footwork, but just that eye and eye coordination, which is so special with him. And of course, he trusts his strength because uh, I don't know where he generates that momentum, the timing, the fearlessness of it all. Fantastic. He went quietly, Afridi. Uh, oh, not very happy with that wide. Mm. I can understand because I think it started out from inside that indicative line and only eventually when it reached the keeper because it was sliding across Monroe did it perhaps uh, go wider still there we go and yeah that's rough not wide for me no sir I think he's looking much better today Afridi he's trying to bowl in that channel uh, first game was a bit rusty was really clobbered all over the park but today's uh, different Afridi we are seeing yeah, I think Pakhtia was stung losing their, their opening match after scoring 218. Of course, they came back very strongly to win their second. And to me, they seem to be on their way to winning their third. Uh, winning their second match as in the third match. <laughs> Let me get that right. This is their third match and they're well on their way to winning two out of those three. But really, uh, rebuilding here. They are uh, just trying to stretch a partnership of Farah Munro. Got a start, both of them are required around, they're still around up 11 and a half. They've taken their time, you can see that very visible 27 or 26. Right way to uh, go about, both very experienced. It's a good delivery. Result in a single uh, to win the ninth over. It's up uh, 77 for three. Gulbahar, Afghanistan Premier League, powered by fog, going around the world. Very significantly, of course, in Ariana, in Afghanistan, where I believe lots of people are very happily tuned in. And thank you all. Of course, D Sport in India. Also happy to telecast the proceedings. And uh, this is only the inaugural league. I've no doubt that more channels will pick it up in times to come. And uh, these heroics will be watched around the world. Sharifuddin, second over. Just drifts down a bit, but uh, with the two spinners operating now, time's flying. And. Uh, well, they've, they've gotten two, like I mentioned. They run very well between the wickets. But they, I think, soon will start requiring a few boundaries as well. We know both of them can hit the ball a long way. But uh, 
somehow they're keeping it going by keeping the scoreboard ticking and not really getting into any pressure, uh, which develops when you um, go through a few dot balls. There's been 15 deliveries since the last boundary. Oh, going for that one. Pretty high, I think. Uh, that just really saved him. With the bounce up on that delivery. Trying to work the ball on the onside play up across the line. Yeah, went for the big hoik and you're absolutely right. I think uh, the height saved him. There we go. Well in line, but very high. Got his shoulder. Oh, there should have been a leg by a signal there. Jumps out, connects it clean. There we go. Well, I did mention that both these guys can hit the ball a long way once they're settled and comfortable. They hit it so clean. Bapara giving Sharafuddin the charge. Clean over long off for a fog Pagiza. Lovely strike, lovely footwork as well. Way nimble footed coming down the track in a flash. Ray Bapara, confident shot. And in the key there was the footwork. Once again going back and across. He's looking very good at the crease. He's got to start now. All the experience has to come to the fore today. Yeah, they were letting Sharafuddin get on top of them, as it were. And just that one shot with Bapara dancing down, the track will make Sharafuddin a little more honest here. Oh, this could go to hand. And it does. Well taken. Falling in front of him. But it goes straight to long on. Flat batted it did Colin Munro. He'll be very cross with himself. They already got a six in this over, and once again Munro this time. Back on strike, going for the big one, not able to time it. Get the elevation right. And it work uh, with the turn there. Flat batted shot, but straight into the hands. Was uh, doing a very good job there in the deep. Munro getting a start, would be disappointed. Standing there and I'm uh, not very happy with that shot he played. He's got to walk back. Disappointed with himself over 23. It's 87 for 4. So, in walks the captain under pressure. They've lost four wickets. Uh, the last wicket was a big one. Coming for the Panthers. Uh, a lot of experience behind him. Just see the strike rate. Absolutely brilliant coming up in that position. Almost 141 for him. 750s. Very capable batsman. Mohamed Nabi along with the, being a very good off spinner. He always has a, has a ready smile on his face. But I know there will be a little bit of pressure. He's there because Monroe wanted it much squarer. But uh, went straight to long on. Didn't get any elevation either. Slightly high on the bat. Well, on the upper half. And a fine catch that the ball was travelling. So, lots of work for Mohamed Nabi to do. His team's just in a little bit of trouble. Look, having lost four wickets, although their run rate's not too bad. I think it's about 10-15 behind what Pakhtia were at this stage. He's got a bat long now. It's going to be important. Good over, decent over. Good comeback by Sharafuddin. 87 for four. is why this match is so important if Bolt can win be the only side to uh, maintain a 100% record Pactier can win he'll join Bolt and Kabul in four points apiece remember only four of the five sides will go forward to the semi-finals Shahid Afridi continuing 
Alistair Campbell alongside me. Good effort this from uh, Pack to you so far. Yeah, big effort. Never easy to bowl second and defend in these uh, night games, and they're doing a terrific job of it so far. Standout has been the fielding. I think they've been really good. The Pakti Panthers, something the bulk legends weren't, let themselves down a bit in the field. But they've stuck to their guns, the bowlers, and the fielders have come to the party big time. And hence, at 88 for four, chasing 204. And uh, we're in the 11th over. They've got uh, some work to do of the bulk legends. They need somebody to get in and go big. Papara's uh, probably the one to try and hang in there and bat right through to the end, making sure that he's rotating the strike, uh, hitting the boundary whenever he can. Mohammed Nabi, he's the, the guy that's uh, probably got to go for it and try and play a little cameo here. We know that he can. We know that he can hit a long ball. And tonight's the night maybe for him to, to do that. They won't worry, uh, just conceding singles, that's for sure. Required rate, 12.32. Every time they get a single, it goes up. They need two runs a ball. That's uh, the equation, and that's uh, a tough ask. And especially when you're four wickets down, you haven't got a batsman that in, that's in. Bapara's face 19 balls, so I suppose in the context of T20 cricket, you would call that in. But Mohammed Nabi just new to the crease, so he's still got to get set. No sign of Jew, Murgers. I haven't seen uh, any cloths out there and rags and bowlers wiping the ball. Yeah, that's encouraging, isn't it? Freedy's going to go round the wicket now. Interesting change of angle, this, to uh, the right-handed Bopara. Good over that from uh, Afridi, just five from it, 92 for four. Afghanistan fans who've come in this evening really enjoying themselves. Sharifuddin Ashraf, left arm spinner, starting his third over. And in their first game, packed here when they lost to Kabul. Bowling was certainly their weaker suit. These are the five bowlers who've done duty so far this evening. Udana really has uh, added an extra dimension to their attack since he's come into the lineup. Oh, surely, yes! What a mix up and what a disaster for Bolt because it's Rabi Bopara, the set batsman, who's got to go. And it's the elder statesman in the form of Shai Dafridi that affects the run out. Yeah, they're not a happy camp at the moment because the Paktia Panthers have struck again at a crucial time. And it's the big wicket of Ravi Bopara. He's hit it straight to Shai Dafridi, taken off. And well, all he's had to do is get the throw accurate. He's done just that, Shai Dafridi. One bounce to the bowler. And Ravi Bopara not even in the frame. High fives all round, Bopara. Gone for 23, 92 for five.
vaunted depth of the bulk legends batting well and truly being tested here now Gilbert in Nabe coming in at number seven very capable striker you regard him as something of a, of a finisher though and they're a long way from home at the moment not even halfway towards the uh, packed here score but what on earth happened here Alistair Campbell what a mix-up this was it's by Paris call he's hit it straight to Freedy and uh, looks like he's just taken off there he goes and he's run and then stopped and then gone again yeah I, I'm not so sure what's going on there it's his goal he's uh, He's hit it uh, straight to Freedy. He's got to just say no, but I think he's taken off and maybe Muhammad Nabi's uh, taken that as a sign that uh, he wanted to run and he's been uh, herring down the pitch and Papara has then had no option but to uh, stop and then start again. Just what they didn't need, the bulk legends. They're really behind the game and well, they've just given away an easy wicket. Oh, what a terrific piece of improvisation that is from Nabi. Whipped away with tons of bottom hand, back with a square on the onside. Really clever shot from maximum four. Yeah, clever betting. He's gone uh, outside and then inside. And the bowlers followed him, the initial movement, and he's been able to get inside the line and clip it away. A really clever batting and clever placement. Six, Spagiza, and that's onto the road as well. Yeah, that's into the traffic. That's a big one. The fog maximum to end the over. 12 bold, 100 up for the Bulk Legends. 104 for five. the bowlers used so far Rudana in terms of economy rate the most expensive but he's the man who's got the big breakthrough of Chris Gale they've all got overs up their sleeves but the important thing is that uh, they're continuing to take wickets packed here this was the last ball of the previous over Mohamed Nabi having earlier hit uh, a four follows that up with a six and that really is a big hit. Gilberty Nabu seems to be batting in Chris Gale's helmet. There you are, you see that uh, piece of tape that we saw on the front of uh, Gale's helmet, very much in evidence once more. And a free deep in his last over. Yeah, he's done a good job, terrific job, Shade of Freedy bit of air he's uh, not lost any of his uh, guile and cunning has shied of Freedy got all the tricks of the trade always does it with a smile on his face as well and there's a smile on uh, Simon Holman's face but I tell you what I don't think uh, he's too enamored with the uh, proceedings thus far a mountain to climb for the bulk legends but as long as uh, Muhammad Nabi's there they'll fancy their chances Gulbadeen Naib as well a handy all-rounder Gulbadeen Naib, you know, uh, Alistair, do you know he's batted in eight different positions in 2020 internationals? He's batted one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight in the Afghanistan order. So uh, you have to say, you can call him Mr. Versatile. Got an absolute pasting in the first game, Shahid Afridi, and uh, he's uh, going to finish here pretty well, you'd have to say. That's the equation, 98 of just 45 deliveries, so they're going to have to go some, the bulk legends. He's got under that, Nabi, but he's got plenty of it as well. Oh, that's a big hit. That is massive from Mohamed Nabi. I was just talking up Afridi having a good spell, and Mohamed Nabi has hit him out of the stadium. We've seen some big hits square the wicket. 
We haven't seen too many straight down the ground. That has gone over the stand and, well, into Sharjah Rugby Club. Gosh, that really was huge. So I say he got under it, but he got lots of length on it as well. That's uh, the equivalent of uh, driving the green on a par five, I reckon. <laughs> Shy to Freedy. Can't be bothered looking behind him. He knew straight away. You heard uh, him saying that could lip read shot. <laughs> that is a massive blow. Yeah. And they'll still believe the men in blue as long as he's there, Mohammed Nabi, that they can get over the line here. We've seen some terrific batting in the tournament thus far. Lovely cameos. Can Mohammed Nabi add his name to the list? 20 of 8 deliveries thus far. He's got uh, some work to do though. Well, he's got uh, 7 overs and 2 balls with which to try and uh, get 92 runs. They'll have some help of course. Gilbert and Nabe there. And there's a few others down the order as well. But you can't help but think that he's going to have to do the bulk of the scoring. Yes, Ikram Ali Kale in next. The young wicket keeper. And uh, that man on left of screen also uh, due to come in. And you'd say after uh, a checkered time in the field today for Aftab Alam, perhaps he's due with the bat. End of Shahid Afridi. Four overs, none for 29. It's 114 for five. Legends Worm still below that of the Pactia Panthers. And remember, the Pactia Panthers got 60 in their last five overs. So uh, somewhere, Bulk have got to find some acceleration. I mean, Ahmed Zai, who took a wicket with his very first ball today. When he got rid of Usman Ghani, courtesy of a terrific catch by Sanullah out at deep square leg. That's good. That's a good sign. That's Mervez Ashraf with the helmet on. And I say it's a good sign because he had to leave the field with a very bad blow to his uh, left shin. I'm sure Bulk would prefer if he uh, wasn't needed with the bat today, but the fact that he's ready to come out indicates that uh, he's made uh, something of a recovery from what was a, a terrible blow in his follow-through. I wonder what's going through his mind. Chris Gale started off with such a flourish. Boundaries through the offside, over the leg side. He wasn't able to carry on 20 of just 10 deliveries before Rudana knocked over the off stamp just making sure he's got his field exactly right once the men on the boundary three out on uh, the leg side just the sole man in the circle is the short fine leg nobody in front of square on the leg side inside the circle Just be the single, they need more than that. If you just keep an eye on uh, the bottom right-hand corner of your screen, you'll see it was 13 to the over required at the beginning of the over. And they've got two singles and it's 13.35. That is the scale of the task at hand. Even though Mohammed Nabi said a couple of lusty blows, it still keeps escalating the scoring rate required. 89 or 40 deliveries. Come back for two. Basically, they need uh, a little bit more than two a ball now, so uh, they need to find the boundary from somewhere. 
again though no real sign of dew and that, that really is encouraging because remember Naby won the toss tonight and one of the main reasons he decided to bowl first was that uh, if dew comes down he said chasing should be easier No, oh, he's hit that, he's hit that so hard, Spike Giza, it never got 10 metres off the ground I reckon, flat hard and into the advertising hoardings, what a shot that is. Wow. Just opening the face of the bat, sitting deep in his crease, really getting all of that. And Ahmed Zardai really look rather wistful. And again, has he got all of it? You betcha! Another Spuckies, another Fog Maximum was a full toss. And uh, he still managed to deposit it over the boundary ropes. Rice smiles all around as Mohammed Nabi got something up his sleeve. I could have sworn when he hit this that uh, he got it very low on the bat and uh, hadn't middled it at all. But such is his strength, such is his power. And that's cleared the boundary by, oh, a country mile. Nabi, 36 from just 13 balls now. And this partnership, 38 from 15. Sixteen off the over, still a ball remaining. He's looking for the boundary, make no mistake. And he gets it away. Yep, one bounce over the ropes again. Soloriza. That's a mammoth over and much needed over. Fourteen bold, 134 for five. to Mohamed Nabi. There were 20 runs off that last over from uh, Yamin Ahmed Zai. And there have been 30 runs from the last two overs. So all of a sudden the chase is on for uh, Bulk. They need 71 in six overs. And Mohamed Shazad has uh, seen enough. And he's recalled uh, Isuru Udana, who really closed out the last match that uh, Paktia won in fine style at the back end of that innings. What can he do here now? He's a very clever bowler with uh, wonderful changes of pace. Gulbadin Naib is the uh, man who's on strike to him now. Goes past Naib on the uh, full toss. Let's have a look at uh, that destruction from Naby in the previous over. Over extra cover, over long on, two full balls dispatched. So uh, Ahmed Zai goes short and uh, Naby almost telepathically in position, knowing that uh, the young Seema was going to uh, pull his length back and responded accordingly. to either hit a boundary or get a striker called Badin Naib. The latter probably get Mohammed Nabi to face as many balls as possible in these last few overs. That's the way they're going to get over the line. That's the way they're going to win the game. He was trying to get off strike, but again, Udana too clever for him. He really is a skillful bowler, this man, isn't he, uh, Alistair? Been thoroughly impressed with uh, what he's done in this tournament so far. Yeah, a fast bowler that's worth his salt is one. When you look at the scorecard, has got a couple of wickets, and all of those are top order batsmen and the in batsmen, and also he's uh, bowled at all the crunch times in the game. 
Well, it was a big appeal. I didn't hear anything. I thought he uh, hit the ground. Not much as Erd was convinced. But he has. He's bowled in the power play. He's bowled uh, at the death. He's bowled when they've required a wicket. And uh, there's a set batsman in. And he's responded beautifully every single time. Yes, against Nangahar in the last match. He got rid of Johnson Charles and Anton Devsic inside the power play. And then he closed the match out beautifully with a series of slower balls to Ben Cutting. Four dot balls. Absolutely wonderful stuff. And uh, Gulbadi Nabe, he's panicking. Look tells it all, doesn't it? He's got that vacant stare on. He cannot believe that uh, he hasn't been able to get off strike or actually hit a boundary in these first four deliveries. Such a crucial part of the game. And all the good work from the previous over, 20 off it being undone. Well, that'll be four. If you're going to swing, swing hard. Good fortune for Gulbadi Nabe and a much needed boundary. He missed the previous full toss, not on this occasion. He's got an edge to it. Third man up in the circle, so races away for a boundary. Much needed boundary. But nowhere near the middle of the bat, looking a little out of sorts here, Gulbadi Nabe. At least he's been able to rescue something from the over, trying to heave it away on the leg side. His worst delivery thus far, trying to bowl the Yorker. Not getting it right. Udana, he knows it. He's just got to compose himself now and uh, finish well. Just the four off the over. So he's done a terrific job thus far. 67 of 31. Out. Great end to a great over. Just four runs from it. And Udana gets his reward with his second wicket. And Gulbadin Nabe put out of his misery. Yeah, another full toss. Not a great delivery, but Gulbadin Nabe has been out of sorts tonight. Not able to get this one away. He should have done a lot better trying to work it away on the leg side, high on the bat, and hits it straight back to the bowler. What's worse is uh, that there was only four off the over. So Udana has done his job. Gulbadin Nabe goes for eight off 11 deliveries, 138 for six now. Fifteen overs gone, 138 for the loss of six wickets. Uh, Mohammad Nabi, I think a lot will depend on him. 40 or 14, he's played a captaining, but really he's got to find support uh, from the other end. 67 required of 30, getting tougher and tougher for the bulk legends. Not going to be easy, just losing the wicket of uh, Gulbadin uh, Naib as well for eight. Great over by uh, Pudana, he's been really special. Three overs, uh, 29 runs, he's uh, picked up a couple of wickets. Fantastic economy. Nervais Ashraf is a handy customer with the bat. He's best at 20 year unbeaten. But I think more importantly, he's got to lend support to the captain at the other end. That's going to be important for him. 196 runs for him in his T20 career. Looks a taunting task for bulk legends. But it's a T20 game, you never know. One good over can change the complexion of the game. Sharifi, uh, two overs, 19 runs, uh, one wicket. That's a good delivery once again in the air. Oh, what a catch. That's a stunner. That's a stunner. Sikanda Raza. You beauty. What a fantastic catch. That ball was really well hit. And now I think it's going to be really tough for the bulk legends. Welcome, Hamid. Thank you, Ajay. Outstanding catch from Sikandar Raza. And this is almost, to me, it's end for the bulk because the captain, he was going so well and he got out. It will be very difficult for bulk to chase the score. It's only 29 deliveries left and 67 runs. He was the only one hope for bulk and he got out. 
Outstanding catch from Sikandar Raza, 138 for 7. Yes, Ahmed comes to the crease. Uh, Sikandar Raza, what a job he's done. Fantastic catch. Catches with matches, old saying, and uh, really it's changed the completion of the game now. One man who was really batting well, uh, Mohamed Nabi, the captain, has got to go back. So things looking tougher and tougher. You know him pretty well, Ahmed uh, Ahmed. He's a young man, but great responsibility on his shoulders. But uh, looking at that catch, that wicket, absolutely stunning. Amazing catch from Sikandar Raza. That's called an experienced player in the team and he picked it and you don't want to miss him this, this time. Kaz is a brilliant talent for Afghanistan future. He recently played the Asia Cup, as I mentioned before with him, as a little bit chat. He had a good experience back in CPL and now he's looking forward to deliver it here. Mirwes, a well-experienced player for many years. He played for Afghanistan and still a regular member for the national squad. And eyes only in beyond Mirwai Ashraf to get some runs and get closer to the game. You never know. It's still still like 27 balls left, 65 runs. And Shazad will be very pleased with his performance. That's the CEO of uh, Snixer Sports, Mr. Ashish Sedi. Just trying to milk it on the onside, trying to improvise. Achi Kishan, oh, he's got to look at the throw as well. He's looking at the non-striker, <laughs> but come on, see the ball as well. Uh, I have to see his smile first, because he's always smiling when he see himself on screen. A small improvisation from him, couldn't get it. And he don't, looking back, see how it's close that. Oh, he's safe. And he got run out, Hamed wouldn't be smiling at all, <laughs> I can assure you. <laughs> I think so, he will smile again because if you see himself run out on screen, he will give a smile. <laughs> but I love this guy, the way he bowled today. First ever tour for him, especially the APL for him was very special. This, this time he bowled very well. Four balls he delivered and gave only two runs and one wicket. Very important of Muhammad Nabi, the man who was standing and taking the team to win the game for Balkh but couldn't make it. That's an awesome ball. Wonderful line and length. Very difficult to hit the ball. It's a decent over because uh, he's uh, picked up a wicket as well. Oh, that's played well in the air. That's going to be a four. Walk forward win the over. 16 overs gone. It's 145 for 7. The Panthers are doing well on the field. Two wickets for Dana, two for Sharifi. Amazai getting one wicket, a touch expensive, although Shirafuddin one wicket in his uh, three overs, he's 29 runs. So Freedy's goal is four overs. She's done a good job today, Shaida Freedy. Last ball, previous over, beautifully struck. Just taking his uh, left foot out, just making room for himself, just carving it on the onside. Was Zapish, but knew exactly what he was doing. Not happy the bowler there. I think this is, will be the over that Balkh will be looking for after that because Odana got one over left, Sharafuddin Ashraf got one over left. So they will target Yamin Ahmad Zay. At least they can get around 15 or 20 runs if Mirwais on strike. 
You never know, maybe Cass can hit some balls and hit some boundaries to get closer to the target. Yeah, you're right, because you know, Dan has done a terrific job. He's been, uh, once again, special, a free these bowl, it's four overs. So, I think this is the over they might be targeting. They need a big over, this one. There's some pressure on Ahmed Zai as well. Mixing his pace, that's good stuff. Never easy for a new man at the crease. A wicket like, Sh like Sharjah, eight runs per over, I think bowler will be much happy because it's very difficult to save 200 runs sometime. If you don't get a wicket in early stage, it's very easy to chase. But I have to say, well done to Team Paktia. They get uh, early wickets uh, because of Chris Gale. He started very well, couldn't manage to finish with high runs. And he got only 20 runs. Then after that, fall down and wicket was just collapsing. The good thing is, he's uh, bowling right at the block hole. He's not giving much room, but that's uh, good running as well. Running the first one hard. That's the reason they came back for the second. It's not very certain that even uh, Marvaisa will be uh, coming onto bat because he got injured uh, on the field. So I don't know whether he comes, uh, whether he's fully fit or not. Yeah, that's true. If you are not uh, have like ball 140 plus, if you don't have much pace to impress the batsman or uh, surprise him, it's better to improvise your variation skills. That's that's what I call like a beauty. Very well ball from Yamin, slower one, couldn't pick, and got a dot ball. Honestly, Hamid, I thought that, uh, the wicket of Mohammad Nabi was a very crucial one at that juncture. The way he was batting, striking the ball, brilliant catch by Sikandar Raza. Just see the last little.